Hi, in this video I want to talk about the concept of no pain, no gain, and how that can be a very uh, negative concept to use when going about things, and I want to go uh, on the subject of suffering in and of itself and the concept of it. You know, sort of like I mentioned with the stepping on a nail afterwards, after not getting your after experiencing your deprivation and not getting what you want. Um, so suffering in and of itself is an experience that you're, you're going to have no matter what. Suffering is something that's going to happen in reaction to something else, regardless of if it's a deprivation, a reaction, something that led from one thing to another. So I want to go about, I want to go to this no pain, no gain idea first. So no pain, no gain. Obviously, this is not necessarily a concept you have to go through, and this is where the suffering in and of itself comes from. No pain, no gain. Well, it doesn't matter that, obviously, you gain something out of the suffering. It's the fact that you needed suffering to begin with to make this gain all possible. Sometimes, again, the, uh, the, the suffering, the pain, is obviously greater than the gain that you get out of it. And in some circumstances, usually the less common circumstances, you get more out of this gain. Sort of like exercising, which I would argue is actually a, a concept that most people can find comforting. Like the burn that you get from exercising, it's satisfying. You find some satisfaction, some tension, some buildup, recognizing in the end the anticipation, the buildup that you're going to experience. And that's usually how they apply this, is the no pain, no gain. It's usually like exercising. It's something you could apply to exercising. And it's uh, that's most commonly used in that con in that. Um, in that example. And um, so no pain, no gain obviously has to do with this negative, the scale of positive and negative that we experience on a daily basis uh, based on the game that we're playing in this universe. Um, and uh, the suffering in and of itself is something you experience. And that's another point I want to bring up is the suffering. Even though you're experiencing a gain, the suffering is still there no matter what. And the fact that you have to experience that suffering to get to the gain, which we don't know in this expectation of the gain that you might get. You never know if you're going to experience a gain. You can go all through all sorts of trouble. You can go through all sorts of crap. You can you can drive all the way to work only for them to tell you, well, no work. there's no work today and it took you two hours to drive to work. Now you got to drive all the way back. So you had to go through all the driving. To, well, the, you know, obviously you had the expectation expectation, the buildup of expectation that you're going to go to work, um, and then you get there, and then you're sorely disappointed. Oh, I might not get paid for this day. I might not do this. I might not do that. Now everything's ruined. I was looking forward to work. I had everything ready, and now all of a sudden, boom. Or it can be like, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to have sex tonight. Oh, I can't wait. She's going to, I'm going to get laid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Or any kind of example like that. And then you get over there, and she completely puts your, her, you know, or her or him puts their a hand in your face, and it's like, no. And then you're sorely disappointed. This buildup, this, um, expectation that you had, um, you know, the, all the pain you went through to ha set up that expectation. And this is more a poor example. This is obviously not the best example. It's not the best example, but it's an everyday example that most people can probably deal with um, when it comes to rejection and things like that. Obviously, psychology can come into this kind of conversation as well. But the con the concept of uh, going through all the pain, going through all the work and the build up, expecting something, the tension, the passion of of the build up of anticipation, all of a sudden it's ruined, and the the the, gain, the pain you went through is the expectation, and the, you only get pain in return. You build up, you go through the pain, and you only get pain back. And sometimes you get gain, but most of the times you get pain for pain, and that's sort of like getting a nail stuck in your foot. And the only gratification you get is pulling the nail out and hoping that it doesn't give you tetanus or something. Otherwise, it's just uh, pain leading to pain. And that's all we're really doing. Pain leading to satisfaction, leading to some other kind of deprivation, some other kind of buildup we need to build up, some kind of something, because that's all we're doing is we're trying to build up something. We're not doing anything more, and we're constantly just trying to satisfy these hungers that we have and these um, gratifications and things like that. Um, so the suffering exists in and of itself no matter what. No pain, no gain. Obviously you can apply that to something. The pain, and yeah, the pain of the, yeah, the, 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 no pain, but the pain of yeah, the satisfaction and recognizing that you're going to get some kind of gain, the anticipation. And by life standards, you don't necessarily know what you're going to get. And it's usually the expectation, the surprise that can be part of the gain. And if you don't know what's going to happen, then the pain could always obviously be for nothing. Obviously, you don't know you're going to win the lottery until you win the lottery. And when you win the lottery, you didn't know you're going to win the lottery beforehand. It could have just been another waste of a what five dollars for a lottery ticket, and you didn't you didn't even know. It's about the surprise too. The surprise that can be one aspect of the gain. Uh, you, you obviously all of a sudden you, you something just happens. You didn't expect it. You didn't know it was going to happen. But once it's happened, it's like oh, this is why it happened. This is so neat. I can't look of any of any other way because it already happened. So once things have happened, that can change your perception and recognize that surprises and things like that can't set any expectation. The pain and gain is irrelevant in these kinds of situations. Obviously, these things are obvi not necessarily uh, pure examples in uh, describing something like this, but it's something to consider when having a, co a conversation like this. 
because um, surprises and things like that, um, either be it negative or positive, once it's happened, it's like, holy crap, this has happened to me. And um, you, you can only look back at the past and realize, wow, things could have gone better or things could have gone worse or things, man, things couldn't have gotten better or things couldn't have gotten worse. And that's one way of recognizing the truth and the world that we're living in. No pain, no gain. Suffering exists in and of itself. And there's nothing um, we can do about the suffering. It li exists on the scale. We need the suffering to experience the positive. And uh, obviously, no pain, no gain. Well, you got to go through the pain first to get to the gain. And the gain, the pain you go through may not have a payoff. The gain that you, the pain you go through may have a surprise at the end or something you didn't know or expect. And obviously, that can be ooh, the expectation of some kind of gain when you have no expectation. Sort of like the gain of just going out somewhere and having no expectation beyond a certain point, and all of a sudden something happens, and that's obviously a surprise, and you didn't expect it beforehand. And in the end, you're satisfied because it's all the, all the more satisfied because it was a surprise. So no pain, no gain. Suffering exists in and of itself. I pointed this out before, and there's nothing more to the concept other, other than that. So no pain, no gain, and the suffering exists in and of itself. And I think I explained it good enough, so I appreciate it, and thank you, and until next time. Bye.